My name is Lieutenant Commander Claude McConnell. I'm an electrical engineer in the Irish Naval Service. I'm curious by nature and I'm, I have a logical mind. and I'm intrigued by how things work, even from a young age. So in school, I was keen on physics and maths. And when I started my B.Eng. in electronic engineering in Dublin City University, I knew this was the course for me. I think inspiration is internal, which could be hereditary, because my genuine interest in methodology of how things work could come from my family who work in similar roles. My dad a design engineer, my mom a pharmacist, my sister a doctorate in physics and my brother a software engineer. I guess it's in my blood. At present, I manage a team of technicians in the weapons electrical unit. We look after the routine maintenance of the electrical systems across a fleet of nine vessels. I'm also a project manager for a midlife extension program on our P-50 class vessels, where we are replacing obsolete analog systems with a more modern digitized version. It's quite a challenging role checking the compatibility of these new systems. I would have to say it's the variety. In the Defence Forces, no two days are the same. One day you are at sea testing the seaworthiness of equipment. The next day you are on the firing range firing weapons, followed by another day refreshing your firefighting skills on a training course. Numerous exciting projects with really technological advanced systems. It's quite a, quite a diverse role. I do consider that my contribution, albeit small, makes a, def a difference to the collective Defence Force effort. As a manager, I'm acutely aware that I'm only as good as my team of technicians. So I ensure that they have the spares, the correct certified equipment and the tools to maintain a watchful eye over the development of our taskings. And should there be setbacks, I strive to have a prompt alternative courses of action prepared to ensure that we can com complete our taskings and keep the ships operational at sea. I hope to have travelled overseas again in a multinational peacekeeping role abroad. I have previously served in Lebanon, Kosovo and the Golan Heights. I hope to advance from my current rank of Lieutenant Commander. And I would welcome the opportunity to return to academia to enhance my technological skills. When I joined the Naval Service there were very few females, yet alone female engineers. It was quite a male dominated environment. Even during my young officer's course, I was the only female of class of nine. But it's scientifically proven that women bring a different perspective, so I think they can make an invaluable contribution to a team or any collaboration. The Defence Forces have a particular emphasis at the moment on recruiting females at present, and these efforts are paying off as females have progressed through the trades and ranks across the Defence Forces. The gender balance has improved immensely in recent years. <music> My advice for secondary students is to make a consistent daily effort to involve, contribute and challenge yourself with modern technology. Since my college days, technological change is accelerating at an exponential rate, putting extremely powerful technologies in the hands of individuals and small teams. Really innovative design solutions at the touch of a button are now accessible by all. So by the time you're, you have your Leaving Cert completed, your possibilities are absolutely limitless. For the young ladies that are in secondary school, remember, according to the National Science Institute, less than 15% of the world's engineers are female. So I would say be like Heather Knight, aka Marilyn Monrobot, and Lemur Ladea Fried. Embrace technology, consistently try to enhance and improve yourself and your skill set, and expand your horizons. Try things outside your comfort zone, accept those challenging moments as unique learning opportunities, and should there be setbacks, knowing that there will, return even stronger and more resilient. And make sure you have fun while doing it. Music